Happy Friday, everybody. Max Scoville filling in for NARS, and on today's fix, we've got some upcoming Game Pass games which were quietly revealed at the Game Awards last night, plus some other games were revealed very loudly with big, exciting, noisy new trailers, and we've got a look at the role of clans in Aiden, presented by Lineage 2M. Now it's time for the arrows and the sound effects and the upbeat music. <laughs> There was no shortage of big reveals during the Game Awards last night, most of which came by way of big, loud, overproduced CGI trailers that occasionally showed some gameplay. But a handful of very cool announcements were quietly buried in the margins of Microsoft's trailer for Game Pass. The trailer begins with a trailer within a trailer featuring Dave, aka Lil Dicky, and Gaeta rapping about Game Pass's PC component and then cutting to a boardroom where the duo suggests giving the service the very obvious new name of PC Game Pass. Uh huh? Pretty smart, right? And then rather subtly revealing a whole bunch of PC games that are coming to the service on day one via the screen of a marketing guy's laptop, which Gata then snaps a photo of and tweets out. But to save you the trouble of looking for the tweet or that video, here are the games. Total War, Warhammer 3, Redfall, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl, Atomic Heart, Slime Rancher 2, A Plague Tale Requiem, Starfield, Paparazzi, Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator, Replaced, Somerville, Ayudin Chronicle Rising, and Scorn. These don't seem to be listed in any particular order. Some of these have solid release dates and some don't, and Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator actually hit Xbox Game Pass earlier this week, so you can play that on console if you want. Also on the list are some unannounced day one PC games to announce at the Game Awards, which I guess they announced by doing this whole thing. There's Pigeon Simulator, Trek to Yomi, Sniper Elite 5, which is getting a trailer reveal sometime today during the ID at Xbox Showcase that will have already happened by the time that this episode of The Daily Fix goes live. And then there's an unannounced game from Huge Calf Studios, which is the studio behind when ski lifts go wrong, and they've been teasing the future of golf games on all their social channels, so I think that's going to be like a wackadoo, uh, you know, goofy golf type of situation. Anyway, some of these might seem like no-brainers since they're coming from Microsoft's first-party studios, but official confirmation is good news for PC players, and more Game Pass games is additional good news. Unless, for some reason, you think it's bad news, in which case you are entitled to your opinion, and you can have fun with that opinion while the rest of us are having fun with video games. Speaking of video games, we figured we would run down a few of the bigger reveals from the Game Awards last night, and when I say bigger reveals, I mean our first looks at previously unannounced stuff that somehow didn't get leaked, or was only a little bit leaked, and just kind of rumored on message boards. Remedy announced Alan Wake 2 is coming in 2023, and creative director slash Max Payne character model Sam Lake revealed that it would be the studio's first foray into true survival horror. Speaking of character models, people think that Alan is looking a little bit like Jake Gyllenhaal, but we've got confirmation that the original Finnish actor will be back for the role. Star Wars Eclipse is an upcoming game set during the High Republic era, courtesy of Quantic Dream. The studio behind such hits is the one where you press X to Jason, or the one where you can be a ghost who ruins a birthday party by knocking stuff over and scaring a bunch of teenagers, and Willem Dafoe is there for some reason. Anyway, the Eclipse trailer is gorgeous, but that game is in early development, so take it all with a grain of salt, because that is very much selling sizzle, not steak. We're also getting a Wonder Woman game from Monolith, the studio that gave us Middle-Earth, Shadow of Mordor, and Middle-Earth, we've got Mordor where that came from. The trailer confirms that Wonder Woman will in fact be in this Wonder Woman game, and it doesn't really confirm much else. Uh, fingers crossed this brings back the Nemesis system, but for regular human criminals instead of orcs. So instead of names like, you know, Ratbag, Licehead, and Kaka the Wrestler, we get like Todd Gonzalez and Daryl Archideld or something like that. Okay, maybe that's a bad idea, but the Nemesis system is cool. We need more of it. Former DICE and EA head Patrick Soderlund's studio Embark revealed the upcoming free-to-play PvE game Ark Raiders, which has nothing to do with Indiana Jones, but does kind of look like a hyper-polished version of Earth Defense Force with big mechs instead of bugs, which is cool. And then Silent Hill creator Keichiro Toyama is making a new horror game about people's heads splitting open and turning into big monster mouths, which is appropriately titled Slitterhead. That looks bonkers and also terrifying, but not as bonkers and terrifying as Among Us in VR, which is somehow also a real thing, and I have anxiety just thinking about it. Like I said, that is just a sampling of what got shown off during the awards last night. We have a video breaking down all of the reveals, and then all of the trailers are up, plus some breakdowns, and then buried somewhere on IGN.com, you can find a list of who actually won awards at the awards show. Imagine that. Anyway, shifting gears, as we established yesterday in our discussion of Lineage 2M's bosses, clans are an important part of the world of Aiden. The original name for clans in Lineage 2M translated to an alliance made in blood, which one, is super metal, and two, is key to participating in some of Lineage 
CH2M's coolest aspects, like, you guessed it, bosses. But you'll need to be at least level 20 in order to join one. As you adventure with the clan, you'll advance its rank, thus increasing its membership and rewards you'll receive as a group. And when you grow as a clan, the benefits all trickle down and help your individual character grow. You'll have to compete with other clans during boss monster hunts if you want your clan name etched forever into Aiden's legacy, so... Make sure you don't adventure alone when you jump into Lineage 2M on PC and mobile. And that is your daily fix for Friday, December 10th, 2021. What Game Awards announcement has you most hyped? Let us know in the comments. And as always, for all the latest gaming news, make sure you're following and subscribe to IGN on your platform of choice. We always say that, but more importantly, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week. You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. What you've found. It's the key to unlocking everything.